Welcome to the show, the Facebook Live special edition of Crowley's Corner. Uh, that is right, I am flying solo today. Uh, in about five to ten minutes time, we will see whether or not that was a prudent decision or not. Uh, but we are thrilled to come back, I am at least, um, to present to you our, I believe, our 55th deep dive. Uh, and we're going to be talking about SunPower. SunPower, the most powerful home solar panels in the world. And that is not an exaggeration. They are the most powerful home solar panels in the world. And they have some big news coming. Uh, as always, ask us anything, write a comment. We love to engage, especially today, because we are really testing my abilities to fly solo and talk about this on my own. So I would love some audience engagement. Even if you already know the answer, humor me. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and pop right into it. Um, so the Sun Power big news this week um, is that they have announced a residential 400 watt and a 415 watt solar module, and this is of their A series panel. They had had uh, larger 400, I believe, all the way up to 470 watt commercial scale panels, but for the residential market, this is groundbreaking. Uh, previously, their highest wattage panel was 370 watts which was the cream of the crop, top efficiency, 22.7% efficiency. Um, and there were some other competitors that were kind of getting a little closer. You know, uh, LG was up to a 365 residential, I believe, uh, Solaria 360. And so the gap in terms of at least wattage, um, SunPower, it seemed to have closed between SunPower. And we've talked about SunPower before on the, uh, on the show as top of the line module. No one's going to question that, uh, but the gap was narrowing. And then just as soon as, you know, they get some people uh, kind of coming up on them, they raise the bar yet again. Uh, and so the big things um, that aren't, are, are, are new here, uh, obviously the wattage. It is the size of a solar panel that uh, we haven't seen be available for residential homeowners before. Uh, the integrated microinverter is standard sun power. Uh, that's not a huge change, but it is a nice bonus for them. Of course, they have announced, not yet integrated, but they've announced that they've partnered uh, with, with Enphase, which is kind of the industry leader in microinverters. So you have the industry leader in microinverters and solar panels coming together. Um, real happy marriage in the solar industry there. Uh, the low degradation rate, I believe this is even lower than their previously industry high uh, degradation rate. Um, and 25 year warranties across the board. Again, that's what SunPower does. Uh, you know, performance, labor, everything. Uh, they're, they're just top, top marks uh, yet again. So uh, to get into, I guess, a little bit more of the details about what this, what this cell looks like, what the innovation actually is, uh, we have a nice little friend here uh, with some special gloves on to show us just what that difference is, right? And so normal solar cells and from SunPower, they're a little bit smaller, even normal solar cells as well. Um, these Maxion Gen 5 cells, 65% larger, and I believe this is a comparison against um, non-SunPower cells, uh, but you know, I could be wrong on that. Uh, this is, it's still relatively new, so we're figuring this out as we go. Uh, but what they're really doing is they're maximizing that space even more. So if you think about a solar, solar panel, um, you're gonna have space between the solar cells. The larger the solar cells in the same square footage, um, the panel size isn't changing as far as we know at least yet. Uh, the larger, the, they're basically maximizing that space with solar cells and not space between solar cells, which they were already very, very good at. Um, they're getting even better at. Uh, so you might be asking, uh, what does this mean for me? That's what I'm thinking. And so what it means is more energy, less space. And again, we'll go, we'll, we, we could talk about this forever. We've hit this a million times before and we'll hit it again. Sun power is the cream of the crop, no questions asked. But if you're able to get 100% offset with enough, uh, with the roof space you have and a lower wattage panel, you might not need it. You can still get it because it is that type of a product, but um, it's just gonna produce the same amount of kilowatt hours that any other module would produce. Where SunPower's value really lies, at least in our opinion, is in those spaces where roof space is confined and you really have to maximize your, um, your square footage. And that's where SunPower rises, rises to the top. Uh, and so if you look at here, we got a nice little example up on the screen. You're gonna see uh, really what SunPower can do with a, 
with a lot less space. You know, in in a in a situation like this, um, you know, maybe um, 23 panels. If you were to think about what that sun power would look like, uh, matching the design, so to speak, of the conventional solar, that 23 panels would produce a lot more. What you're seeing right now is a comparison of what how little space sun power needs to produce the same as a 260 watt panel, which is which is quite small, um, below most of what we see uh, today. But even the 300 watts now with the 400 watts, it's 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 going to be a pretty drastic difference. Uh, and so yeah, if that matters to you, uh, getting 100% offset in a place where you wouldn't get it with 300 watt, this was going to be a good option um, as far as production goes. What remains to be seen is what is it going to cost. Sun power has always come at a bit of a premium. That premium has kind of stepped down over recent years, uh, but we even see that 370 watt panel right now coming in at a little bit of a premium. We still have people go with it because it's, it is the best product on the market. Some people just want it because it is the best product in the market. Some people want it because it maximizes their roof. Those are both good reasons to get it. The 400, I would think, would be a step up, obviously, in maximizing their space, obviously, in uh, being the best panel on the market. But now, even more so, you're going to have to think about that cost. I'd imagine as soon as it launches, it's going to be at a cost premium to that 370. So we'll, we'll, we'll have to keep an eye on that. And we'll be sure to update you when that time comes. Uh, what exactly is it going to mean to your bottom line because in the end that's what we're we're looking at in solar uh, is what the bottom line is so with this next slide my uh production assistance taking a little longer than uh, i would like to get this thing moving uh but i will stall anyway so sun power oh yeah that's us that's pick my solar not sun power my bad, guys. This is Rex's part, usually, but he called in sick today under uh, precarious uh, kind of terms. So I'm doing this solo. Uh, but yes, Pick My Solar, competing solar solutions from top providers. Top providers, installers, they offer sun power. And so we'll be able to show you what this sun power module looks like when it hits the market against other providers and other solar solutions so you can pick what is best for you. Um, and I am not seeing any questions, so... That's going to do it. That was a first and surely not last after the um, spike in viewers will show edition of Crowley's Corner. Uh, but until next time, it has been an absolute pleasure bringing you some new solar news. Can't wait to do it again.